Hi, everybody. Hi, Marita. Hello. How are you? Hello. Good. I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, today's uh, new topic on uh, Multidimensional Comedy Club is about the butterfly. Um, yes. The lateral discussion on the butterfly, what it means, uh, and then also a little bit deeper into that, as everybody knows about what we do. We discuss things on a lateral movement, which means we don't go into the most obvious and we are very creative in what we're exp expressing on. So before we start, um, I'd like to share with you the screen on this image uh, so that we can see what we're going to look at as well. There's also this butterfly. Um, can you see the butterfly? I like this picture. It's there. And this is Marita from behind. And uh, we're going to be bringing in the information about the butterfly. So Marita, since you're the expert yeah. on the butterfly and all I would be able to tell you is how to catch a butterfly with a net. <laughs> uh, I would ask you. That's also, uh, that's also really uh, nice to do, catching yeah. a butterfly. Yeah. You are totally focused on the butterfly. And yeah, I, uh, I did get in contact with, with, with some people and they uh, developed a movement and they call it the butterfly. Okay. There's a whole uh, philosophy behind it, and I'm not so good with text, so. I'm not, I can't remember that all at this moment, but well, you can. it's available for people and it's, uh, but when I do the butterfly, I, when I do the movement, then I'm totally in my own energy and it's a really, really good feeling. Then I can, uh, it's even that I can uh, clean my energy, my own energy. I can set my space, my own space. I, uh, I, when I, I do the, the first movement, movement, the opening, and I put my hands out, then I feel the energy. I will let my hands be in, in, uh, in picture. So then I can feel this is the end of my space. Yeah. And I feel that my hands are trembling, like energy is in my hands. And I can feel like I'm in some kind of egg or balloon, and I can push the, the, the boundaries of that egg. And, it, and when I want to have more space, I just have to move my hands out. But if I, when I have to, yeah, if I want to have little space because it's cloudy or something, then I, yeah, pull it back by me and I'm in my own space. So, so, so it's, it's really, really, it's, really it's, it's, uh, Sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's really an a, a, a easy way, a, a wonderful way. Uh, it is not difficult or whatever. You just have to learn the movement. They are just a few movements and then your own space. Okay. And then you want to develop it, you can go for a um, more uh, advanced uh, movements. And you can also work with it, work more with, with the energy, work more with, with, uh, with the whole movement. So. Okay. Interesting thing that um, I wanted to add to what you were saying is um, it's really a manipulation. It's not a manipulation. It's a, it's a really controlling one's own safe space. Yes. 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 Right. And and in that way, it's also from what I, now this is quite interesting because this makes me go in all kinds of way, in all, all places. My mind is going completely all over the place about this, which is actually pretty amazing. Um, the Hermes Trismegistus, I will put a picture up just for us to see who it is. Hermes, he has got the wings on his helmet, which is Mercury. Um, Mercury, uh, let me go, Hermes. It's very interesting that we're talking about this. Um, 
Hermes means Hermes tr thrice great, thrice great. Trismegistus means thrice great, which means three times better than whatever than before. So I'm going to go into the images okay. and I'll find the first picture so we can see it. Um, obviously, I didn't get the picture as I wanted to, but uh, <laughs> anyway, it's a guy with wings on his hel helmet. Uh, and lower, be, uh, lower on, the sh on your screen, on the yeah. right. To the right. Lower screen. There. That is what that would be. And there's Her Hermes. So this is Hermes. This is Mercury. Yeah. Uh, and the wings are basically the communication that one would speak by allowing the wings, which is the space of the, 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 the auric field to expand. So when you're using your hands, it's, it is the same as wings, yes? Would you agree? Yes, yes. Um, he has also wings on his, uh, on his hands and on his feet. Yeah. Because when you do the, the total movement on, of Butterfly One, then you also move with your hands and you, you uh, screen off your, um, your energy at right. your... Um, the third eye, so yeah. uh, nothing strange can come in. Yes. And you move with your feet, so you uh, are also uh, grounding and also connecting with, with, with the universe. Okay. So, all right. Um, this symbol, <clears throat> the wings, it's now, it's not a very good depiction, but it's got the polarities or the two sides, the masculine and the feminine that intertwine. And then obviously leading out to the uh, the wingspan or the span of the auric field around oneself or the, what do you call that? I mean, I know there's, there's so many names for um, the, the field around us. Um, I know there's the aura and then there's the etheric field and basically what else is there? Yeah, you have all the bodies, uh, the, the different names for the etherical body, and uh, I, I'm not so good with names. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah, myself. I'm very good, but um, yeah, and, and but in being in your own space isn't really your aura, it isn't really your etheric body, it's your soul energy. Okay. Your own space is your soul energy. And with the butterfly, you are protecting your soul energy against uh, different influence from outside. Okay. It's like you are there, present in the moment, in connection with the other people or whatever, but there's nothing that they can take from you or can come in your space. Mm. And that's the beauty of the butterfly, because you you are safe where you are. Yeah. And uh, yesterday I had an event, and what people most times do is make a safe space in the environment mm. for all the people. Mm. And that's really nice. Mm. That's really good. But when you step out, you're out of the safe space. Yeah. And something is looking at the group from out of the safe space and you step out of that space, you can be attacked because you're not aware of that it was there. Mm. But when you are in your safe space of your own, you can go everywhere all over the world and your safe space is with you. Okay. Like your wings That's are... Really yes. Oh. You have your own protection. And when we have all, all the people have their own protection, then it's, then they, then we are all safe. Yeah. So, okay. Now I'm going a little further, <laughs> more lateral. <laughs> uh, mm. we, we have a safe space in this comedy club, multidimensional comedy club for everybody who's just, who's tuning into this and, and, finding this channel for the first time. Multidimensional Comedy Club is really, it's not a comedy club, it's just, we call it comedy club because 
when we discuss things, we discuss it in a light manner. We discuss things in a lateral manner, which means we are creative in expl explaining things. So it does not necessarily require us to make fun or comedy ideas on what it is, although we can, we are free to express our laughter if we do find it funny, which I often yeah. do. But anyway. yeah, we will laugh sometimes and maybe we will laugh uh, for ourselves or for yeah. about ourselves or doing stupid things. Yeah. That's funny. And, uh, but also lighten up the yeah. heaviness yes. of the time we are in and and the, the movement, uh, the, the, the the changes we are in and lighten it up. That's so important that, mm. that it's it's not that, that dangerous. It's not that uh, that fe the the fear the fear is is just um, it's just a word. It's just an emotion. It's just an energy. It's nothing more. It's okay. It's just, yeah. if we are up, it, it will, will just disappear. Yeah, you, you pretty much um, uh, put it on the, on the nose there. Yes, exactly what I was going to say with regards to our comedy club. And it's multidimensional, so uh, I challenge those. <laughs> and then it's change this. Moving away. <laughs> yes. So... <laughs> Okay, now my, 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 my mind is going somewhere else. Gosh, this is interesting. Internet is unstable. Let me stop share for now mm -hmm. so we can focus on each other's faces. All right. Okay, so the butterfly practice that you are explaining to me and to everyone else, um, would you say that it can, it, it, supports uh mantras as well this is a personal curiosity yes i i use it all also especially for uh meditation and i'm not so good in sitting uh in the lotus holding because i don't but, can okay. get up anymore and i <laughs> i can't sit still or uh my head is uh all over the place when i try to uh, meditate yeah when I do the butterfly, I come to myself and I'm in a meditation state. So mm. it's a moving, moving, moving meditation. Okay. So you are moving and you're also meditate, meditating. It's so an active, active meditation. It's movement yeah. in action. I like that because that reminds me of uh, Tai Chi. It reminds me of Bruce Lee who said, um, we have to be like water so that we can flow through everything. Uh, I feel very strongly that is where we're going with this um, channel. Um, yeah. Where we're also going with our consciousness is that we're becoming, learning to become uh, movement in ourselves. Um, I also feel that it ties up to taking responsibility finally, which I think is something that, well, I'm going to share with you, which has been on my mind, is taking responsibility over, uh, well, not over, taking responsibility because we had asked for it. And yes, we are here in our life, in our own incarnation, yeah. and we are responsible for ourselves. So, right. The phrase responsibility for self, I use that a lot yeah. because that's where, where it's all about. Yeah. Nobody else can fix your life. Exactly. Only you can do it. Yeah. Nobody else can start a, a change. Mm -hmm. Only you can do it. And only when you do a, a little, uh, just a, 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 a spell the brick, uh, just a, uh, just a yeah. drop. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that that's yeah that that's enough. Every uh, needle prick is enough. So, and we have a thousand of them. Then we oh, have also. If it's a tattoo, then if it's a thousand of them. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, we will uh, paint the tattoo uh, in, in energy on the earth to yeah. change uh, to change yeah. the energy. Yeah, yes. I like that. I like that. That's pretty cool. Yes. Um, Every everybody just do one drop. Yeah. One paint. Although you know, yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I think it's time that uh, through the butterfly movement, or the butterfly action in movement i freaking love it because uh it opens up so many um avenues or pathways for one to explore in because once you've mastered or attained the first principle of the movement of what it really is yes um allowing your psychic senses to move from your consciousness and then being able to control it which is one movement which is also yeah. a torus field within the heart which also connects to uh arming your heart which is like which is like a little bit of a contradiction which is what my channel is called but um <laughs> to protect oneself to not allow external things to influence that movement so in other words what you're saying is we're constantly moving because we are we are um becoming infinite consciousness at all times. Um, yes. And in that way, like you say, to, take, to come back to what you were saying about taking responsibility, do you think that humanity is now ready to accept responsibility? So in other words, where our great spirit, father, mother has decided to cut the apron, spring, uh, apron strings, to put it like that. <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. you're ready for it? Yeah, yeah I think uh, humanity is ready for it a long time. Okay. And, uh, oh, yeah, I think they were ready the, the, the first time a human was incarnating, or a uh, soul was incarnating in a human body. Mm -hmm. And it was always there, but because we didn't know it anymore, because we came to the veil and we, we forgot everything and and we just um, we are scattered around or whatever, like mm. flabbergasted. But the hell are we uh, landed in mm. some kind of strange yeah. environment and yeah. everything is totally different than we were used to. So, and then that's uh, the way it all went to where we are now. And like I say, the bad way or whatever, but it's, mm. it's just a way. We are just landed now here in this earth, in this time, in this thing age. we are in. Yeah. Yeah. This age. Oh. So we have, that, now, we have now earned our wings again. Yes? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. We have, we have do, done so many, so many lives. Uh, some have uh, a lot of them. Some have less of them. But totally, with the whole group, we are here, and we have earned our our wings. Our yeah. yeah. Now so, it's time to move on. Yes. To get move to the next the step. Move, moving yeah, with the awareness that we have wings and that we are, at, we are. Now the interesting thing is, <clears throat> let's throw this in here. Um, when I said where Great Spirit has chosen to cut the apron, apron strings, it's not as direct as that. It's more like handing over to its progeny the responsibility. So yes, that, 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 that is what I've been picking up. What I've noticed is happening is um, there's been a lot of... Um, people who will who have been questioning where's our father mother where's the goddess or whatever or the god or where's the universal consciousness all the names for a uh, 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 the, the 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 caretaker i'm calling it just so that we yeah, know yeah. right yeah um yeah we, we hope that there is somebody something yeah. That will take care of everything. Yeah, but but we are responsible for everything that's happened to ourselves. Correct. So we can 
spy on any caretaker. Yes, we, we, we are now uh, a little <laughs> over uh, uh, outgrown child riding on a bicycle with with protector wheels. Uh, yes, they are still we don't on. do that anymore. Yes. No, we have to. No. We have to remove them, and then, uh, like, like, see, I see it like this. Like, I'm on that bicycle with that um, uh, extra wheels. Training. So I will yeah. remove them, and then my wings will grow, grow That's out. Right. That's right. So they will transform in your wings. That's right. That is exactly. And then, yeah. That's really good. That's brilliant. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's Just really that, good. Because because we are all angels. Yes, fallen we or not, angels. I think fallen once upon a time because we cho we 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 were emotionally we felt our per our perception was to feel cast out. You know the child that always feels that it's never acknowledged, and this is the inner child that's injured <clears throat> with whatever reason there may be whether it was not enough love whether it was too much love whether it was whatever um, that the child's perception is to feel cast out now i know that there that there has been a casting out and a retribution and a casting out and a retribution over the centuries of the existence of this version of this planet it happened at around about four times as far as i'm aware yes. and this is the fourth time that we are in that frequency of having to see look um it's not casting out essentially really it's all about setting you free so that you can use your wings and yes. move forward this is what i see where we're supposed to tra uh, trans mute towards or transform towards or grow in grow up into to put it like that yeah 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 but yeah when you say it like that then it's like we um it, it feels like a punishment or something yes, like that. yeah i don't think it's a punishment i think yeah. it's just a growing phase yes uh, it's it's not uh, we all are able to have the wings to feel our wings on our backs or at, at our head or uh, at your hands or yeah. at your shoulders wings can be everywhere yeah we are allowed to use them we're supposed to use them yes Remember, we, we didn't remember when we came to Earth and the body didn't have the wings. We thought we couldn't use our wings anymore. Mm. Yeah. So we remember that we have them and we can always feel them. them. Yes. We have, always, we have always had them. Yeah. Because everybody has them. Yeah. Then I hear people say, um, yeah, but what about the bad people? Or what about the uh, the people that are doing things uh, badly for us or for badly for the earth? But we are coming all coming from the same source. We are everything coming from the same place. I hear the same thing, and what I feel I would re reply to them is to say that to commit something that is atrocious or to commit an act that is uh, 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 non uh, that is inhumane is essentially a conscious choice to actually de pluck pluck the feather out of your wing yourself it's a, it's a, it's a masochistic um, yes. thing it's not uh, and once there's a, a sadomasochistic influence in doing something like that when you're doing when you're committing an inhumane crime or an inhumane action against another life is essentially uh uh cutting yourself with a knife so um why do they get away with it because they believe that once they first made the first cut 
where they've cut a portion of themselves every time they commit something that is inhumane against another living being, um, that they essentially are cutting themselves off of the body of the, 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 the macrocosmos or the, the body of the, the embodiment of the macrocosmos by aborting themselves out of that. And so perhaps the bigger majority of the body that's still intact in wherever areas in the body is still intact also has antibodies to seal off the end where it's bleeding or hemorrhaging. I mean, you, you have natural body, your movement in your, in your body, movement in your body, if there's a cut, your body creates a scab uh, to, to seal that end off. And in the same way, it's the same as when you say you're creating that to, to, to secure your, your third eye. So yes, uh, it, we, we, we are healthy enough to seal off that part that's hemorrhaging. <clears throat> it's just my thoughts. I've just gone completely all over the place right now. <laughs> but um, you follow where I'm going with this, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, that, I always feel, uh, think it's funny when people do that, and uh, <laughs> I, I'm capable of uh, just uh, staying with it. <laughs> For me, it's no problem when people go all over the place. Not everybody can can connect and uh, lo is losing the the context of the story, but but it's all connecting with each other because that has all to do with. The responsibility for self, even yeah. when somebody is 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 uh, uh, damaging the body of the earth, uh, the total body of of the souls, mm. it will heal itself. Yeah, it always does. Finally, it will heal itself, and maybe there will be left a scar or whatever. But when we and then then I go a step further for when we we. Um, we uh, uh, wake up our stem cells mm -hmm. and we say, okay, you are there still in my body and I can still uh, um, grow another thing with you and I can ask you to heal something major. Yeah. So, and they are, they are doing it, but we did forget also that our body can can heal everything. Yes, it, it can do so much more than we think. Yeah. Yes. So much more than than a doctor. A I doctor agree. can fix things. Yeah. Because it is a quick fix. Mm. It's 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 easier. And when you have your broken your leg, you can't see on the outside. Mm. So we can go to the hospital and have an x-ray and then we can see it. And then we have a cast, cast uh, around our, our leg and then it's better. Mm. Okay. Mm. But the body can do it for, the, for itself. Yeah. Fix it again. And yeah. Also, it's just a support. Yes. The fixing is the body doing itself. You know, I used to wonder why if, if you lose a tooth, why, why has the tooth not been able to grow back after it's being extracted from your mouth? And I was thinking, so I did an experiment on it. And the funniest thing, although I didn't get the tooth replaced, I had my other teeth compensate for the space of the other tooth that got extracted from. So it's very interesting. I was literally telling my body, okay, teeth, repair yourself. I was just testing it for about six months just testing it every day, saying a little thing to, to my teeth. And um, because I had a tooth extracted back then, it's a long story. And my, the other teeth grew together to compensate for the one that was taken away. So yes. I think, I feel very strongly that that is what it means to repair the body is to make up for the one that's um, ostracized 
him, herself, itself from the body. Uh, then you get very strong antibodies uh, to fight off the virus of the one that's ostracized him, her, itself from the body to defend itself against the virus, a virus, a viral infection of the mind. So in other words, right now, for example, what's been going on now, there's been so many people that have aborted themselves from the situation on a conscious, emotional, deeper, viral, unfortunate reaction to the rest of the body. Um, I, I, I think that, uh, yeah, I'm just throwing that out there. It's, it, that, that is a subject for another day, I think. Yeah. A very heavy subject. But yeah, so... Marita, I'm handing it over to you. What would you like to leave with everyone and myself and yourself for us to take it further? Yeah, we did mention, uh, of you uh, mentioned uh, martial arts. And yeah. when people look at the butterfly, it looks like Qigong or uh, Tai Chi, or uh, it looks like a martial art. But in reality, it's different. Mm. It has nothing to do with uh, fighting off things or fighting against things or um, it's all about the energy. Okay. And the, the moving with your hands and your body and your feet, it's important, it's really important, but the most important of the whole movement of the butterfly is the energy. How you... Um, now, when I'm talking about it already, my hands are Tingling. again. I can feel so, them. <laughs> yes. My fingers, my hands, everything is tinkling with the energy of the butterfly. Okay. And, and that, that's, that's really something I want to um, uh, mention, that it's not a martial art. It looks like it. And, and people are really, oh, they will dismiss it in that part. But when you let, uh, let yourself really feel what it's doing, then you will understand that it's different. Mm. That is something different. Yeah, you can say it, it's, it's, it's more. It's Maybe alchemy different. of energy, alchemy of energy. Yeah. Yes, yes, and you can work with your own energy. Yeah. And when you're really good at that, you can work with your, the energy in your environment or with the energy even farther out. But I don't want to uh, make any promises that you can do things when you are not... No, uh, I think that's, that's, that's up to you. That, that, yeah, that's a very well, that's a very well mentioned point there. It's up yeah. to the individual to yeah, get in touch. I think with that this uh, stage, it's the most important to, to to be able to work with your own energy. Yes. Let it flow, to let it clean as itself up. Yeah. You clean yourself up. You you detox yourself. You you uh, empower yourself so yeah. that you can uh, can can stand in your life, in your space. Very good. Yes. Yeah. Um, for everybody. Who's, who is very interested in um, the golden voyage to, un to get to understand what the, and learn to become connected with the butterfly. There is a website um, and we will place the website link at the bottom of this video. Um, we encourage everyone to please explore this, this uh, Marita's um, video uh, channel and YouTube the website. Yeah, there are more, more videos about it uh, already on online. Some can't go online because YouTube is saying I have music and I didn't pay for it, but I did pay, but they don't know yet, so I have to inform oh, them. It's only because it's so damn good. That's why they do that. Bullshit. <laughs> so, okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, thank you, everybody, for supporting us in this um, movement. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you, Marita.
who yeah. is sharing the butterfly with us. Yeah, thank you for giving me the space to do this. So that's, that's really nice. I am really enthusiastic about it. And uh, it would be really, really good to have more people uh, connecting with, with the butterfly. So that's and really you're, cool. on, you're on Facebook as well? Yes, I have Facebook <coughs> just with my name. And I have a, a company page that, uh, that the golden the golden race the golden voyage. But uh, I will make sure the link is on it. And, uh, Thank you. Um, we will be sharing all the links for Marita's um, pages and websites website on the, at the bottom of this video. Thank you, everybody. We Thank you, everybody. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. See you next time. Bye.